Hello everyone, Pete Brooker here. Going to do something slightly different today. We've been doing a lot of Talking Heads videos, interviews and whatnot on the on the podcast and the YouTube recently, but we're going to do uh, a quick review of the trousers that I recently got from Grey Flannel. Uh, they can be found down in Chilton Street. And the reason I went to these guys was um, mainly I, w I wanted to see and speak to Sir Timothy Everest who runs the MBE studio below Grey Flannel. Uh, so Timothy's been on the show before. He's even in, been featured in the book where he talks about the clothes that he made for Ralph Fiennes as M. And you can check that out, obviously, in the book. But but today, let me talk or rhapsodize about some of the great trousers that I, I recently procured. Uh, these uh, are aubergine linen trousers. And I just want to show these up to the light here so you can see how sheer these are. These are linen trousers. I bought these because they're summer trousers intended for summer when we when summer finally fucking gets here sorry <laughs> i bought these in the middle of a heat wave and uh, it's not stopped raining for the last week uh, they say never go to the supermarket when you're hungry and never go shopping for linen trousers when the sun's out they all say it honestly they all say that i digress anyway back to the trousers uh giving you a close-up here this little bit of fabric loop that is uh, apparently where you put your belt through and the pin of the belt buckle goes through that and gives it a bit more support. These have got a couple of reverse pleats, just pointed those out here. Plenty of room in the pockets. And uh, the shirt is also by Grey Flannel. That's a linen shirt as well, got it for my birthday. Okay, moving on to the second pair. These are flat front trousers and these are a light beige. Also got that little fabric loop at the front there you can see. Some nice uh, darker tortoiseshell contrast buttons there. Some a uh, bit more open pockets. You can see the stitching down the side. Let's have a look at the panelling inside. Very nice. Very nicely done. And these are 100% cotton. I'm pretty sure it says on the label here. Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. There it is, 100% cotton. Give it a bit of a steam. By the way, not getting on well with this steamer. I can't <laughs> it seems to put more wrinkles in the fucking thing than it does take out. But uh, I try. And uh, yeah, here they are. Anastasia says these are the most least exciting of the three. But uh, I, I guess I guess you can't please everyone all the time. And there is a bit more... Gets a bit more gaping on the pockets here around the seat. You can see the, the hip pockets gape a little bit more on these. But like I say, these are ready to wear. I didn't get these bespoke. I just think that these are nice light trousers. And uh, I'm wearing this with the Sunspell Sea Island cotton. So uh, I do like those. Anastasia's not a fan, but I do like them. These are my favourite. And also the missus loves these as well. These are teal linen trousers. And... I really love the texture and the colour. These are actually Armani trousers, even though, again, I got them from grey flannel. These guys are made in Romania. Let's hold it up. And again, let's put them up to the light here. You can see just how lightweight this this linen is. Okay, let's put these on. All right, and I've paired these with my linen shirt from Mason & Sons, which is the pink camp collar shirt modelled on the one that Sean Connery wore in Fundable. I haven't steamed this, as you can tell. But uh, just a nice casual summer outfit. The missus loved this, I think. This is a... I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> All right. Well, just showing you how lightweight these are, I guess, and how roomy they feel. So, putting these away until the sun comes out. And maybe... I'll leave you with a little tip that I learned from John Williams over at JBR Radio when he was speaking to David Zeridsky on the Bond experience. He was telling David that he's basically got everything regimented in his wardrobe with regards to hangers, you know. So I went out and bought like 20 odd wooden hangers and 20 odd black plastic hangers. And that really does kind of just sort everything out because so many times I've got weird odd miscellaneous hangers like from the dry cleaners or the missus puts a weird hanger in there and it just really 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 fucks with you <laughs> it does anyway all right thanks for watching and thanks to danny down at gray flannel in chilton street i recommend going down there and checking those guys out and uh, also try and catch the timothy everest down at the bespoke element of the shop in mbe studios he's always good for a couple of stories 
In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.